Good morning YouTube. Today is the day that I'm giving these sheep their booster shots and I like to do it about 21 days before they give birth or so. And uh, I've gone ahead and I've already done the two ewes that are the oldest. They are uh, now I guess a full two years old. And then they're, they're babies that uh, again from a previous video I've made I, I, I said that I was a little nervous that they aren't pregnant. As you can see she's not showing much. This white one looks like she could be. I'm crossing my fingers. But these two are obviously, this one's a iffy. This one's the kind of the skinniest of, of the group, so I don't know necessarily what know what's going on there. But this is what I'm doing. Um, 21 days ago, let's see if it focuses on it. Uh, maybe not, maybe so. Um, this is the vaccine that I give. You give two milliliters of subcutaneously. That means just beneath the skin. And what you do is you pinch just um, a fold of skin right behind the shoulder blade and then insert the needle and inject two milliliters of this. Uh, they call it CDT, Barvac CDT. Well, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, and then you want to give a booster shot to those that haven't been um, vaccinated before or use that are about to give... Uh, birth so that in their colostrum the lambs get a shot of antibodies for these particular um, diseases as well. Colostridium perfringens type C and D and tetanus toxoid. They call it the Barvac CDT. Okay, well let me see if I can get a, a sheep up close into the corner so that I can show you how it's done. Go ahead and I use a hypodermic needle and I, and I use a new one for every single injection just for sanitary purposes and, and to avoid transferring disease. Um, I can't really do this with one hand, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this on the top of the... Anyways, screwed it on top. Now I'm going to take the canister, I'm going to flip this thing upside down, and then stick the needle in through that insert point there, fill it up to 2 milliliters, and then inject it inside the, uh, the sheep. This is what I meant by upside down. You insert it into the point there, now it's upside down so that you don't suck in any air whatsoever into the needle. Very important. You don't want to inject air uh, or it will cause some pretty bad bruising and pain for the sheep. I have filled it up with two milliliters. Now let's try to get a different sheep tied into a corner here. I keep the needle obviously away from the, from the sheep. To... Okay, I have a sheep into the corner there. What I'm going to do is you grab right at the base of the shoulder and you pinch it up. And the right where you see my thumb is, that I'm going to go right beneath that thumb, and I'm going to insert subcutaneously, which means below the skin, and then insert the uh, vaccine. So again, the reason why we vaccinate our sheep is to ensure that they are healthy, that if um, disease does get on the farm, that, they're, that their bodies are able to fight it off, as well as the timing of our vaccine is very purposeful. We want to make sure that they have antibodies in their colostrum so that that first few days of milking and feeding their lambs, they're able to transfer those antibodies to them. Very important to do that. Thanks for watching.